Welcome back to High Stakes. Elevate your betting game by hitting that subscribe button and ensure you never miss out on our daily content. Want exclusive access to premium betting picks? Join our Patreon. Links are waiting for you in the comment section below. Stay ahead of the game with High Stakes. San Jose Sharks vs. Los Angeles Kings The Carolina Hurricanes are off to a blistering star at home, boasting a perfect 3-0-0 record firmly establishing themselves as one of the elite teams in the National Hockey League. However, despite their impressive play, they may face a formidable challenge from the Calgary Flames, who have been on an offensive tear. One key factor favoring Calgary is their ability to stay home, minimizing travel fatigue and allowing them to focus on their game strategy. Additionally, the Flames have an edge in net, as goaltender Dan Vladar has been performing at a higher level than Carolina's Kochekov this season. With Vladar's experience and skill, he could be the difference maker in a tight contest. Offensively, the Flames have shown they can score consistently, even in challenging situations, such as during power plays. Meanwhile, both teams are in great form offensively, with the Hurricanes averaging 3.5 goals per game over their last four outings, while the Flames are scoring an impressive 3.6 goals in their previous five games. Given the caliber of talent on both sides, expect a high-scoring affair. Kochetkov struggles as a backup netminder and Vladar's shaky .890 save percentage create an environment ripe for scoring opportunities. Predictions. Carolina, Hurricanes to win. Over 5.5 total goals. This matchup promises to deliver plenty of action with both teams ready to light up the scoreboard throughout the full 60 minutes. Don't miss out on what could be an exhilarating game. Colorado Avalanche vs. Utah Hockey Club The Colorado Avalanche have faced some challenges at the start of the season, particularly in goal. However, with goaltender Justice Anunen showing mark improvement, the AVS are poised to limit the Utah offense effectively, setting the stage for a crucial road victory. The hockey club has been struggling recently compounded by the loss of key defensemen Sean Dersey and John Marino, which is a significant hit to their blue line. Utah's goaltending has also been underwhelming, and with Colorado's offense beginning to find its rhythm, expect the Avalanche to take control early in this matchup. They should establish a lead and maintain it to secure a vital win away from home. Prediction. Take Colorado on the money line. If Anunin and Arizona's Karel Vejmelka take the ice as starters, the best bet is the under 6.5 goals. Despite both teams facing difficulties in net, Colorado's improved team defense has begun to reduce both shots and goals against. In stark contrast, Utah's offense has struggled significantly, managing only six goals in their last four games. It's reasonable to expect these scoring woes to continue, leading to a lower scoring affair. Prediction, take the under 6.5 goals. Winnipeg Jets versus Seattle Kraken. The Winnipeg Jets have established a strong track record against the Seattle Kraken, winning three of their last four matchups, including two of three games played in Seattle. The Jets have consistently stifled the Kraken's offense, limiting them to three goals or fewer in their last three encounters at Climate Pledge Arena, highlighted by a decisive 3-0 shutout last March. Seattle's struggles at home were evident last season, as they suffered losses at a troubling rate of 58.5%. This trend has continued into the current season, with the Kraken dropping their home opener against the St. Louis Blues just last week. Offensively, the Jets hold a significant advantage, ranking in the upper half of the league across several critical metrics, while the Kraken find themselves in the bottom tier. Winnipeg is off to a stellar start, winning their first six games, including two on the road. In stark contrast, Seattle has struggled to find the back of the net, ranking 29th in the league with an average of just 2.61 goals scored per game. They have failed to score more than two goals in four of their games this season, indicating a lack of firepower to mount a comeback if they fall behind early. The stats and trends strongly favor a comfortable Winnipeg victory in Seattle on Thursday. Prediction. Take the Jets to win. Moreover, historical trends between these two teams suggest a low-scoring matchup. The last three meetings in Seattle have gone under the total goal line, with only three goals scored in their most recent encounter. Winnipeg's goaltenders have excelled defensively, limiting the Kraken to three goals or fewer in five of the last six games. 
Seattle has ranked in the league's bottom half for key offensive categories, making it unlikely they will score in bunches. They have scored two goals or fewer in four of their first seven games of 2024. Meanwhile, their goaltending ranks in the top 10 for average goals allowed per game at 2.83 successfully keeping their opponents to three goals or fewer in four of their last five games. Given the Jets' strong defensive play this season, consistently limiting opponents to three goals or fewer, all signs point toward a lower scoring affair in Seattle on Thursday. Prediction. Take the under. San Jose Sharks vs. Los Angeles Kings. The San Jose Sharks are in a troubling position ranking dead last in the NHL in goals per game, averaging a mere 1.86. They've managed to score more than two goals in only two of their first seven games, underscoring their offensive struggles. In their most recent outing, the Sharks suffered a 3-1 defeat to the Anaheim Ducks, marking their second consecutive game with just one goal. In that match, they were outshot 40-28, with Michael Granlin providing the only score on a power play. Goaltender Mackenzie Blackwood, 0-2-2 for .09 GA, has been inconsistent, giving up two goals on 39 shots in the last game. While he's had two starts where he conceded five goals in the past four games, his performance hasn't been entirely poor. If Blackwood doesn't start against the Kings, Vitek Vanasek, 0-3-0, 3.14 GA, will step in, having allowed three goals in each of his last two outings. On the other side, the Los Angeles Kings are looking to rebound from a disappointing 6-1 loss to the Vegas Golden Knights. Despite outshooting Vegas 33-30, the Kings fell apart defensively, allowing three goals in both the first and third periods. Goaltender David Riddich, 2-2-0, 3.39 GA, struggled in that game, yielding six goals on 30 shots following a strong performance in which he gave up just one goal in each of the two previous wins. If he does not start, Phoenix Copley, 0-0-0, for .37 GA, will be making his first start after Darcy Kemper was placed on IR. The Kings, coming off a rough loss, will host a Sharks team that remains winless. San Jose has faltered on both ends of the ice, averaging four goals against per game, which could be a significant advantage for LA. Despite their last game's high score, the Kings had limited their opponents to just one goal in each of the two games prior. This matchup marks the Kings' first home game of the season after a challenging seven-game road trip, and they will likely come out strong in front of their fans, showcasing both offensive firepower and defensive resilience. Expect Los Angeles to secure a victory, likely by at least two goals, making the puck line minus 1.5 goals an appealing bet. Prediction take the Kings and the puck line, minus 1.5 goals. Additionally, while the Kings have been relatively effective offensively, scoring only one goal in their last game after netting eight in the two prior, the Sharks' ongoing struggles will play a significant role. The Kings might exploit a suspect San Jose defense, but don't expect a high-scoring affair given the Sharks' offensive woes and the Kings' occasional inconsistency in scoring. Thus, the smart play here leans towards the under. Prediction. Take the under. Six goals.